So, excellent bike ride to start today. Really, really great. Felt really great getting outside, getting on the bike, kind of just chatting with Brock. We didn't do anything crazy. We did like seven miles. It took like 30 minutes. Really didn't plow very hard at all. Getting some lunch in before I've got to run to Home Depot to do a DIY project. Probably not gonna go well. It's kind of hard one to fuck up. I'm just staying in the fence, right? Surely I can't fuck that up. I don't think I can fuck that up. <sighs> Probably gonna. <sighs> Just gotta stay in the old fence, or stay in the new fence to match the old fence. Black. All right, finish up this lunch and head to Home Depot. Fence is all black. That's a new PR. I've never actually done a DOI project and not had to go to Home Depot twice. I do have too much paint though, by about half. That's all right, I'm gonna lie and say we'll save it for touch-ups. Nice. It's hot as fuck. Getting the backyard all wrapped up and done with everything has been, uh, it's just an ongoing process and so, like DIY stuff, stuff like that, I'm really not great at. I'm real good at manual labor. I'm real good at providing help and doing as I'm told, but uh, the intuitive, which I don't know if anyone does have it, the, the how to do it from step one, and like it's gonna go well the first try, like a planner, it's not me, I'm all balls. Just jump in and fuck some stuff up, then figure out how to fix it. I'm a I'm a measure once or almost measure and cut three or four times type of, type of fella. But I'm really happy with the progress of the backyard. However, all that really, really trashed my knee. And uh, the rest of this video is gonna be recovery work. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing to get rid of swelling, get the knee back in order and sort out what I've got going on with it. So power dot, I'm gonna use boots. I'm gonna spin bike a little bit this afternoon those type of things. Currently, it's just a matter of putting some compression on it to uh, just give it a little bit more support. So yeah, that is where we're going. We gotta figure this thing out after I beat the shit out of it. All right, back to work. Trying to get shit done. Trying to get stuff done with hate brand and having to deal with the bank. There's nothing that frustrates me more. I take that back. There's one thing that frustrates me more. When electronic stuff doesn't work correctly, like say uh, have trying to have a phone call and your phone's cutting out or it's not working right, this is something that just about makes me fucking freak out and smash stuff into walls. Number two behind that would be Dealing with the fucking bank and wire transfers and the bullshit of, uh... I hate fucking answering questions that I had to fill out in a form. If, if, if I had to fill it out in a form, why, why do we need to discuss this verbally? Can't we just discuss it verbally once instead of filling out the form then? So fucking stupid. On to a better day. We got more coffee and we're gonna drink it. And then I have a lunch date with my... My builder, Luke, talk to talk to him, kind of catch up. Really nothing going on, but I uh, just want to catch up, see how things are going with his knee since he's been crazy busy. All right, got some delicious food in the tank. Uh, sticking to the plan, food was good, nothing crazy. Head home and keep on recovering. Uh, I need to edit a little bit and then put the power dot back on and get in the boots, get some swelling out of this knee.
Just got back from lunch and got cool stuff in. <sighs> Tallboy cans. These are a stainless steel can containing any type of beverage you want. Drink it by the pool. Fill them up with drinks. Pretty thick. They're not uh, flimsy like a normal can, but um, they're also not like insulated or anything. So drink fast, drink some pints. Pretty cool though. I really, so this logo, our original, original hate brand logo is the first one we ever did. Uh, our buddy Dan Marino did for us and knocked out of the park. I wanted kind of a craft beer label with some simple stuff on it and it really turned out great. And so, love them. The Red Stick CrossFit Regional shirts you guys have been asking about, those are gonna be up on the site as well tomorrow. So we got the ladies tank, Up for grabs, and then we got the men's tea as well. Just get excited when we got new stuff coming. Right? The Baton Rouge flag on the sleeve and big team hate 17 on the back. These are gonna be super, super limited, so grab them up quick. 9 a.m. tomorrow, Central Standard Time. All right, I gotta go take actual photos of this shit. What else did I get? Hold on. Uh, Awesome people over at Angel Fire uh, ammunition, ammunition Company sent me range rounds for uh, the 223, my AR, and 9mm to the new Glock. That makes going to put some bullets down range a lot easier. Bullets are expensive. Thanks, Angel Fire. Huge appreciation. I'll put a link below to those guys. And uh, they also sent me some cool patches. If you're into that sort of thing, which are pretty cool. Kind of dig these rubber patches. Maybe we'll get some of those made. All right, I gotta take some pictures of stuff and keep working on this knee. Things are going good. We've done two rounds of Power Dot, so that's like an hour worth of recovery with it while having the knee kind of wrapped. And then uh, next up's gonna be getting into the boots with the Power Dot as well. Really stoked on that. All right, I gotta take photos. Oh, photos. Product photos are so fucking hot in the garage. I have to be very efficient with my time in there and get photos done before I start pouring sweat like a big disgusting animal. Kind of chill out, handle emails, do some stuff like that while these go on for about 30 minutes. Now these boots have definitely become something like I don't travel without. Um, they pack up pretty neat, fit in my bag. I know that I'll be bringing them to Iceland, like 100%. I imagine I'll be doing stupid shit in Iceland that's gonna aggravate my knee. So they're gonna be needed. But these, these are great. These and the Power Dot, absolute game changers for me as far as recovery and rehab on my ACL and definitely one of the better ways that I can get rid of swelling when shit's aggravated like it is today. And that's recovery stuff. That's what I'm doing to try to get swelling out of my knee. So it's, it's a mixture of compression, it's running the power dot, it is wearing those boots, and it's doing some contrast with the hot tub and cold and, and the pool being cold. And I find that makes a big difference. I bet, I bet by the end of the day, I got things back to probably 80%, you know, 80% range, which is better than it taking three or four days like it was post-surgery, being fucking trashed. So it's all gonna just take effort. It 
it's gonna take time and, and time's the big one that you can't cheat and you can't steal. So when you're recovering and you're trying to get rid of swelling, be smart. Now, I personally don't use ice on anything. I don't like the way that works for me. What seems to work for me is compression, contrast, stem unit. That's what I like, or any combination of those for that matter. So that's your day. I hope anyone else fighting post-injury can use some of that to get rid of swelling. Swelling is kind of the enemy. Swelling and inflammation, right? That's gonna be stuff that limits range of motion and all these type of things that'll kind of slow you down. So try to keep that shit at bay. All right, and uh, check out the new drops. We got new drops on Hate Brand right now. They're live. They're down there. Use any of our athlete codes. You get a fucking discount, like 15% off of stuff. Bo doesn't care. Bo's fucking sleeping. All right, spread hate, always party.